This video guides peer reviewers through the manuscript review process. You'll learn tips for when you're invited to review a manuscript, when you read the manuscript, and when you write the reviewer report. First, what should you do when you're invited to review a manuscript? Ask yourself three simple questions to decide whether to accept or decline. Do you have the right expertise to comment on the manuscript? Do you have enough time to do the review by the deadline? And can you provide an objective review and are you free of any competing interests? You should only consider accepting the invitation if you can answer yes to all of these questions. But what if you think you're qualified to review but can't quite answer yes to those questions? Say you're an expert in one aspect of the manuscript but not all. Or you could do the review if you had a few more days. Or you have a potentially competing interest but think you can still be objective. If you're in one of these tricky situations, talk to the journal team to find out what they want to do. Now it's time to start reading. It's a good idea to read the whole manuscript first and then take a closer look at the different parts. Take lots of notes as you go and mark down sections and page numbers so you can refer back to them later. The first thing to do is figure out what the manuscript is about. Have the authors identified the main question and key claims? These should be clearly stated in the introduction. The authors should also discuss related research and explain how the study fits into that context. Then look at the figures and tables along with the results. Do the results line up with what's being shown? Next, look at the methods and study design. Are the methods appropriate? Does the study follow relevant reporting guidelines and meet ethical standards? Finally, read the conclusions. Are they supported by the data and results? Now that you've read the manuscript, it's time to start writing your review. First, find out how the review needs to be formatted and submitted. Some journals might have a structured form with specific questions to respond to. Also check if you will need to recommend a decision, like minor or major revision. This information might be in your invitation, in the reviewer guidelines or in the online system. Use an outline to keep your comments organised and easy to read. Think about your report like an upside down triangle, with the key message at the top followed by evidence and examples, then additional details at the bottom. Start by summarising the research in your own words and stating your overall impressions. In the middle section, tell the authors what they need to do to improve the manuscript. Divide this section into major issues and minor issues. What's the difference between major and minor? Major issues are the essential things that need to be addressed before the manuscript is considered further. Minor issues are still important, but are smaller in scope and don't affect the overall conclusions. These might be things like additional references or giving more context. Focus only on what is fundamental for the current study. It's not helpful to recommend additional work that would be considered the next step in the research. Finally, add any confidential comments to share privately with the journal editors. This is where you might state if you have any competing interests or raise concerns about ethics or misconduct though in these cases it's a good idea to get in touch with the journal staff directly as well. Remember, your goal is to help the authors improve the manuscript, so be specific about what they need to do. Here's a checklist of helpful things to comment on in your report. If the figures and tables are appropriately presented and labelled, and whether they actually show what they claim. If the methods are detailed enough so another researcher can understand and follow them, if the study design is appropriate for the question being asked and if any experiments are missing. If you can verify that the statistics are sound or think an additional statistical analysis is necessary. If the results support the conclusions and if the data are accessible. If any references are missing and whether the title is appropriate and informative. Now your review is almost done. Here are some final reminders. Number your comments so they're easier to read. Include line or page numbers so the author knows what you're referring to. Don't spend your time pointing out typos or grammar issues. The journal needs you for your scientific expertise, not to be a copy editor. Finally, make sure you also say what you liked about the manuscript. Remember, the author will be reading your comments as written, so keep your tone respectful and professional. Put yourself in the author's shoes and think about what kind of review you would like to receive. Okay, now your review is done and ready to send to the journal. Remember to get it in on time or tell the journal if you might be late. Thanks for watching. We hope this video is helpful for your next review.